and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mage Seeker Bannerman trying out a new deck today. Puppy decided to join us for our last deck. Um, so basically what we're trying here is we're trying just Demacia, right? So full on Demacia uh, with, of course, Vanguard Bannerman doing the same normal uh, beginning game stuff that all the Demacia decks do, you know, Tracker, Protector, War Chef, Single Combat, you know, like, you, you know, these cards, Protege. But then uh, trying to combine that kind of deck with the Mage Seeker deck that usually we see Mage Seekers with, um, you know, of course with Lux, but then also with, you know, like Heimerdinger uh, or maybe Thresh and, you know, like in some control decks. But then trying uh, Mage Seeker Investigator, um, Insider, and Persuader, trying them in more of a mid-range or like aggressive shell. So to, to be able to uh, turn those cards in the top end, of course, our biggest thing is back-to-back. -back. That's going to be our biggest thing, turning on all of our Mage Seekers, but then also Remembrance. Um, those are, you know, like that's basically what we have. Plus one Judgment, just to get them. And then we got our four champions at the top end going, two Garen, two Lux. Uh, didn't, didn't have room to fit too many in there. Um, I guess I could take out the, these two Mage Seeker Insiders and then play a third Garen and third Lux. But... Uh, yeah, we're going with this. <clears throat> but that's something to think about, like, whenever we draw, like, these Mage Seeker and Scyters, would they be better as Garen and Lux? Uh, we'd still have uh, Investigators and Persuaders, but... Anyway, there we go. So that's that's what that's what our deck's all about. We'll see how it goes. Um, for our board, let's go Hall of Valor. And our Guardian will have our Silverwing. Going full on Demacia. Mage Seeker Bannerman. Yep, mono Demacia. No other no other faction here. So don't have to worry about Bannerman whiffing ever. There just wasn't really another card that I, I feel like we needed to splash for. Yes, Harvey, I can fetch you too. So uh... No splashes. Okay. So let's get rid of Lux and keep these other cards. Oh, it's Karma Ez. Maybe Lux is good against Karma Ez. Alright, so turn one, turn two, four, turn five. So five, no, we need six. Let's see, five, we can have, turn five, we're gonna have eight mana, we can play both of these. We'll get rid of Lux. I don't think I want to play Persuader on two and let them kill Persuader. Eh, maybe I do. We'll see. Because I kind of want to have turn five, save up three mana that we didn't spend on other turns. Um... And then be able to play Persuader with back to back immediately. This is definitely a good turn three call. It's a hard hard card to beat. Hard card to kill, so it's a good turn three card. gonna save the mana which means then I I play this on three this on four save another mana both of these on five now we have Garen on five Strength and grace, beauty in the play. I will play my part that's true I could just go back to back on turn four here if you know, especially if they don't kill the tracker, <clears throat> I could just play back to back here, and then next turn play two drop, three drop, or Garen.
Perfect. I want them to use another spell first. Master. That works out well. And now I got the, the Proje still has four toughness. The tracker still alive. Got five points of damage in. Yeah, that was that was pretty nice. What do we have here? Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. Create a detain. I do like how they just completely changed up these mage seekers because they really were unplayable before. Ionia speaks through me. Mages can hide from me. Do you think they did a good job of that? So we're looking at six mana. Do I want to Garen? Or protector, and then have her post available. There's a lot of options here. I guess we're gonna protect her. <laughs> no, yeah, they they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Harvey doesn't have any chill. If, I, if I'm not petting Harvey, she, she's like, what's wrong? Magic must be stopped before it spreads. But then she also like lays down and and like, you know, sticks her belly out because she wants her belly rubbed. But also, like, too far away, and I can't, I can't reach her. <clears throat> okay, attack, attack. All right, making the obvious attack. Getting in some extra damage. All right, they bounce that thing. It's fine. They're still down to seven. We got a good battlefield. They're getting free cards with Karma. So I'm probably going to go Persuader plus Garen. That's what we're doing here. The king and country. Because of course Garen would be a great one to level up. That was their random card. Um, I mean, I don't imagine they're just playing that card, but that's that's a pretty good random card. Does that mean they have Thermogenic Beam as well? They do. That's perfect. That was that was a perfect two cards to have. Thermogenic Beam for Garen plus Scrap Dash Assembly. That was perfect. Yeah, that was pretty great.
We can, we can do some crazy stuff with Detain. You know, we have some tricks here, depending on what they do. I don't get to like single combat and then still have Judgment Man available. I don't quite have lethal with repost. Even if we'd want to try that. It's not that I'm two for wanting myself. It's it's two for two. You know, like we're trading with, we would be trading with the recall and the karma for single combat and mage seeker persuader. I probably should have gone with the detain first, though. this. Gross. Probably should have tried to detain first. Good news is the karma is, you know, they didn't get the free card with the karma. Went back to their hand. And to play it, they're going to have to spend five mana. And then we detain it. <laughs> Check me out. Ezreal's already leveled up. Good chance that that's lethal. They just go upstairs. Okay, now let's see. It's a good chance that it's lethal. Firing. Stop that. that they would have another 12 points, or you know, they would have another 10 points to do before damage would happen. Uh, 13 mana. It's not worth going straight to attacks because if we go straight to attacks and they just double block, I, mean, I would have the back to back, but still, that's that's not really that great. What you looking for? Basically, 
any option. This is not great. Four mana. Hopefully they don't have a thing that removes that with four mana. Okay. Okay, so we got Ezreal out of there. They can't play Karma. I don't know. Maybe we could win this. Maybe. Not super likely. The answer lies within Maybe they don't have too much good stuff in the end. I don't know. Ionia, whatever the cost. All magic is dangerous. So too are mages. Ugh. Many past lives in a single soul. Let's forget about that part, you know, when Karma opponent only has, you know, just a couple of cards in hand and you're like, maybe those couple of cards aren't very good. And then one of them's just another Karma and they get four free cards. It's not three, it's two mana, but come on. Now suddenly they have infinite cards. Yeah, I mean, Detain is the only play. We gotta try it. Not sure exactly what the plan is. You know, challenge the 5 4, challenge something else. They block 1 3 3. I. Back to back? Put an end to you can't outrun justice. Do I back to back? Force them to have another, you know, removal spell for this thing. They're playing stuff. Do you like being able to react to the things that they're playing? So down to two mana, so this is two two damage for this. Come on, back to back. So for two mana, they have to have four damage to stay alive, which they can. All they need is a, they need a Mystic Shot. But then they're, if they have that, the Karma dies at least. But, ugh, it would have been so much nicer if they just didn't have Mystic Shot. Ugh. Why do they have to have the only card that saves them? Four cards. My call. Well, that's game now. I'm sure, they have another Karma or an Ezreal. They're gonna kill us. Where there is life, there is hope. Karma is just silly. Yep. Well, we had we had a shot. You know, like they needed Mystic Shot. You know, like we. We almost won, 
they even you know after like everything else they needed a mystic shot unfortunately they had mystic shot You can't see Karma not getting nerfed at some point. Uh, the only way that Karma doesn't... Yeah, I mean, like, basically if... If the new set adds in some more power... You know, like, we don't know what the new set's going to do to the metagame. Um, if it adds, like, enough power that people don't really play Karma anymore. It's kind of scary to, to think that that's possible. But, I mean, I guess if, if that would happen... Stay safe, my lady. Mages are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. <laughs> yeah, make Purify work on champions. Man, how good... Purify would be great if it worked on champions. Oh man. All people would be doing is playing Purify if it worked on champions. That's every deck would be splashing Purify. Just like basically everybody everybody splashed Deny when Deny was three mana. Do that kind of thing again. Trying to figure out what to do with this detain. None of my plays sound very. None of my plays seem very good. Oh no no no! Click those the wrong way. deny. That's cool. <laughs> so this is attacking, and then basically do I trade War Chefs to do another 4 damage? I don't think so. I could have, I could have War Chefs attack for another 4 damage. Man, Rummage with Karma is busted. Everything with Karma is busted. Karma makes everything busted. Ran out of cards. That's true. They've used a lot of used a lot of burn spells on me, but all they have to do is find an Ezreal, and then it's over. Once they draw their second Ezreal, the game's over. That looks pretty over anyway. So, 
if we get to cast Re Remembrance, that can level up Lux and give us a final spark. Gave it a real try. Uh, we had that back-to-back -back that almost won it. Where they had two mana and had to do four damage instant speed with two mana. Um, but they had Mystic Shot and they had Karma in play. So. But close. Vladimir Elise. We'll keep the Bannerman and get rid of all this other stuff. Let's see, keeping the back to back just because that's like what our all of our Mage Seeker cards are about. But um, thinking like Vladimir Elise could be kind of aggressive. Demacia. All right, we drew the back to back anyway. Come closer. I don't bite. Vladimir with the Undying is pretty cool. Ravenous Butcher definitely makes their deck better. Makes Undying better. Oh, great. Break their spirit and their soul. Okay. So we're going to... Eat that, eat that. May not be worth... Run them through! Uh -huh. Maybe we just do these two, and we don't actually attack with these things because they have a 5-5. Five five. And this should keep both of these protégés alive. So just the more creatures with Bannermen, the better. Also back to back and make the warships a five six and block the five five with the five six and then just pump up the toughness again of the protege. Um we'll do that. Because then that gives me six mana for next turn where I can drop warships, bannermen. Shaman. That's good. It's a good quality five drop. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Raise the bat. Lift our spirits. Okay, so how do we want to do this? We want you to pump you to take you. 
We want this to pump this to take this. And then I this would have my 3-3 be able to kill the the 3-3 three, three kill the war chefs, or I could just put it over here so they can't kill the war chefs. I'd rather them do I'd rather them do two damage. Or sorry, three damage to my protege than kill my war chefs. <clears throat> that thing's kind of undying over there. It's not really dying. Kind of undying. Hmm. A delicious challenge. It's like a block block here, single combat here. And then we have five mana left in our remembrance. Can we stay at 13? Maybe we hit Radiant Guardian, we had a creature die. Sweet. Sad. I was not thinking they would have ruination in the Noxus deck, but Dang. obviously with the millions of cards they still have. That was over. still a blowout for the Demacia Dex puppy. Still is. Uh, Karma as another 25 minute match. to drop. These games get mentally tough. You know, this part of the stream. What you looking for? Obviously, don't attack there. I attack here. Got your back. Okay. That wasn't a bad draw. Use another protector. Have you ever played against an Ezreal deck that did not cast Static Shock? Has, we haven't today. Every single Ezreal deck has played at least one Static Shock by turn four every game. Just Static Shock every game. At least it seems like it. I should have war I should have worshipped to the protector 
pump up its uh, toughness back to two. Magic must be stopped before it spreads. All right, I'd like to draw a six mana spell. Thank you. Could get denied. Oh, there are three already? Oh, dang. Maybe I just repost? Yeah, I guess I have to, because if I let that happen, then the Remembrance will only cost five mana, because I'll have something die. That was a pretty fast beatdown hand that we had. That's the thing about having uh, the Mage Seeker Persuader, even when it's a two mana 3-2, that's just more two mana 3-2s that we're playing. So as you saw there with that game, we just had we had our one drop and then a whole lot of two drops, and uh, my opponent couldn't stabilize in time. <laughs> Finally, all right, we gotta win. Gotta win. Uh, yeah, it's pretty standard. The Yasuo deck. Um, what are we doing? Teemo. Let's put that Lux. Um, here we go. I was clicking over. I was saying, yes, the, the Yasuo deck is pretty standard with a stun build. Here's the here's the link to the, the YouTube video of us playing it earlier. It has the deck list and everything down below. But yeah, it's it's pretty standard. I kind of feel like this is a turn three remembrance game. Remembrance into Insider or into Tracker plus Investigator. Hmm. Or I could go Tracker and then Investigator. If I go Tracker, then we save two mana. This will still have the two mana. And then turn four Remembrance. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. I have two mana for single combat if we need to. Welcome, Trill Money. Uh, Trill Money. <laughs> You're welcome. gonna play the single combat because i do next turn i think i would rather play remembrance next turn and then we'll have single combat afterwards Pop cap. Okay. 
Okay. They got an extra Teemo in their hand. It's pretty good. Insighter is a better card to play, but Insighter leaves me with one mana, where then I don't have single combat available. This left me with two. Where I did have single combat available. Keep them from drawing two cards, keep them from getting three puff caps, or kill a Teemo. When we know they have another Teemo in hand. Or just let it all happen. I don't think I killed the Teemo when we know they have another Teemo in hand. Yeah, so that's that's basically what I decided for my plan to be, is to use uh, single combat when they're attacking with the Teemo. Because I don't want them to be able to uh, give me just two more puff caps, whether they're playing another spell, where they, you know, or, or anything. Give me a couple more, have a leveled up Teemo. I will keep us safe. They just hit me for one and give me five puff caps. Do I take it? So they don't get to. I don't, I'm not gonna make like one of these things smaller and let their things trade with mine. My collection. I feel bad. I feel bad about it because I like Teemo a lot. Teemo's cool. But it's just what we're supposed to be doing. Be unworthy. I wish we had two more mana where we could have the repost with the back-to-back. -back. All right, so they're just going to double chump block. Hmm. I want to detain. I kind of want to detain my own in investigator, but I guess we need to save detain. I guess we need to save detain for Timo. So we know one of their cards is a Teemo. We know one of their cards is either a Teemo, a Peddler, or or another thing. So that, that could be that other card. So if I have 11 mana, that means I would have 6 mana to go along with Lux. Stay safe, my lady. 
I'm sorry, five, five, sorry, yeah, six mana to go along with this detain, so we can play the Lux, we can still have detain, take said Teemo. We're at 32 puff caps, don't want to double that up. They know about the detain in hand. I don't have to really worry about that, we got a barrier to Lux. For now. They know about the detain because those are created by the Mage Seeker Investigator, so they're sitting there hoping that I was going to play it or tap lower on mana. Night. Alright, so we're going to... I have some different options. We could repost. Uh, maybe we just repost. My play that I wanted to do... I kind of want to block with this thing and Suspicious. then detain this. No, we'll just repost. No, actually, yeah, no, my, my play wasn't really going to work. We'll just repost. Never back down from what you believe. Oh no, I don't want to pass. I hate that puff cap animation. I do that all the time. It's like slow and stays up there and I'm thinking like I'm hitting okay to get rid of that animation. And then I just pass the turn. I do that all the time. Ugh. Well, guess we passed. No, you do, no, if you, no, zero mana, Thermogenic Beam does not remove a barrier. Well, now I'm really wishing I didn't just pass my turn. Demacia! Demacia! Demacia. Everybody else is doing it. That is perfect. That's perfect. I mean, I hope they don't have another vengeance. But that's... I'm going for the high upside play. You know, they, they have a vengeance. I'm kind of blown out. But that's perfect because it costs two mana for Lux. This is Garen striking. may kill me. I have a million pup caps. That may have just killed me. Uh, or I guess we probably have lethal. Yeah, I mean, we have lethal. They don't have anything. So, like, we'll just force them to have stuff, I suppose. Then we'll back to back the two small things, get another final spark, cast the final spark, kill another blocker. Because I don't think we really have another. We don't have like two more turns. Like we can't. Like we have to kill them this turn.
with all these puff caps, we definitely don't have another turn. Like this has to be, this has to be it. They could basically use anything to stop me. Man, that one life. These are foul magics. My pretty. Smell that? A fight to cook. That one life, because I have I have eight points of damage here with the attack. Oh no, I guess I have seven. I guess I have seven. Head to the base. Put an end to magic. We do what is right. No one goes hungry. Dang. Yeah, we had seven, not eight. Oh, that vile feast. So they had another blocker with their spell mana. Close, real close. Um. Yeah. I drew my best card that turn with no. single combat. I can't complain. It was... <sighs> it was the turn that we uh, passed. We just passed the turn and did absolutely nothing because of that, that puff cap animation. That was not good. Alright, one and three. Mage Seeker Bannerman. Not pulling its weight, but we're going to play this last game. Try to get it to a two and three. Try to get it respectable. We'll have we'll have a completely five hundred day <laughs> if we win this next one. So that's the goal. Get to five hundred. I don't have I don't have a challenger right now, so this protector isn't as good. It's a fake challenger, it is true. Alright, finishing this thing up. Smell that? A fight to cook it. But two mana cards with bannermen is a good combo. I don't think I should play Bright Steel Protector, which is a 3-2 into a 2-4, so we'll play the Protégé. My opponent's broken. They're broken. Yeah, 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 we get the point. They're gonna do this every single turn they have. It'll be really annoying if they do that every turn. Not take long. 
Protector was a good play. I, of course, was going to be trying to take their protege with my protege. Well, that's fine. I don't think that card's valuable enough for a barrier. Maybe it is. I don't know. I guess it, they are going to be wasting that other mana if they, if they didn't have anything else to play. So it depends on what they had in their hand. Actually know what they want to do this time. <laughs> All right, try to, try to take out their protege. Another Bannerman for this next turn. Two drop. You're covered. Dang, another protector. Soldier, to me. That's good again. Really wish I had one more mana this next turn. Oh dang. That's also pretty good. One banner, one destiny. And we'll bank the extra mana for the judgment. do as little blocking as I can. I want judgment to kill all their stuff. I don't want to just like trade off everything. I don't want um Yeah, so I, I want to do as little blocking as I can. Not at all, Paramyth. Not at all. So we block here. I mean, they will have the Scythria. I wonder if I should chump block Scythria. That probably makes it too obvious. Set up. No, we don't need to. Oh. Magic has no place here. I demand satisfaction. Oh, Can't fight 
got an empty stomach. Stand for what's right. No closer. <clears throat> All right, hope this works. Does we, we create a detain as well? So even if they like barrier their Scythria, we still create a detain. Exactly what I thought would happen happened. They would fall by my blade. They barrier barriered Cythria. Ooh, back to back. I peel. They got the back to back from Or sorry, they, they got this thing from the, the Silver Wing Vanguard, I'm assuming. Yep. Or Silver Wing Lancer. That's the name of that card. Are you a silver wing lancer? Stay safe, my lady. Mages are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. Uh, I should have played the tracker first. I got too excited and played it. I really should have played tracker first. Dang, I, I need to slow down there just a second. I just kind of played it too fast. Harry, repost, you are toast. Protect and strike. La 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 la. Aha. Thought about doing this, you know, really thought about doing this pre-combat and then being able to hold the fi final spark pre-combat, but there really wasn't a great option to do that pre-combat. This is pretty over, though. Judgment took out four cards, or like three cards last turn, and now they just jump block across the board. Unless they're splashing for Ruination. I don't really see how they're winning this. Break their spirit and their soul. Give you a little tracker if you want. All right, two and three. Good 500 day. 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know Ionia doesn't have Ruination. They don't. They're not actually splashing for Ruination, but... That was the only card they could have been splashing for. What about that? Play, you know, Demacia Bannerman Splash Ruination? <laughs> That'd be a crazy combination. All right, yeah, GGS. So I don't, I don't think that, like the Mage Seekers probably aren't better than than other versions of Demacia. I think playing, I think my favorite version of this deck, Vanguard Bannerman deck that is, is playing Zed. It's playing Ionia for Zed, not Ionia for Deny, but Ionia for Zed. Um, I think that's my my favorite version. Um, I also like I like going P and Z for Augmented Experimenter too. That card's cool. Um, 
I thought about splashing PNZ in this deck that we're playing right now for um, for Progress Day. As Progress Day, a way to turn all the Mage Seekers and to refill your hand when you run out of cards against Control. Like against like Ruination decks. Like, uh, I thought about doing that. But ended up just going full on at Demacia. Um, yeah, Vanguard Sergeant. I mean, I'm basically yeah, I'm playing I'm playing the Investigator instead. You know, creating a Detain uh, instead of the Vanguard Sergeant. But I could see playing the Sergeant instead. the The Detains, they were like they were like kind of nice to have, but my opponents always like made good plays around them, and we never really got to take advantage of Detain. Um. But honestly, the, the Persuader was good. The Persuader was very good, and back-to-back -back was awesome. So back-to-back -back was awesome, and Persuader was good. Like, I wonder if you can just, like, have those, and then, you know, maybe you just, you just don't play Inciter and don't play Investigator, and, you know, do, like, other normal Demacia cards and stuff instead of these, and maybe that does include um, playing the uh, card you just said, the, the Vanguard Sergeant. And creating four Demacia instead of these things. But there we go. All right, so that's that's a Mage Seeker Bannerman. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave a comment. Um, well, I really appreciate y'all watching, though. Uh, and that's what I got here for Mage Seeker Bannerman. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.